Hi everyone, welcome back to my Tomb Raider Legend playthrough. Today is part three, which is going to be Peru. So just a couple of things before we get started. Unfortunately, I am quite sick at the moment. I'm not feeling great, but I'm, I'm feeling okay. And secondly, just to mention, because a good few people have been asking me about it, this is the first video that I have filmed since the Tomb Raider remastered announcement. So a lot of people were asking for my thoughts and opinions on it. I did put up a community post on it, but basically my thoughts are, I'm so excited. <laughs> I always wanted remastered games as opposed to remade games because I think the originals are just so amazing. So having them remastered with updated graphics is so much better in my opinion than changing the games. So I've already pre-ordered my copy. So of course I'll be playing through it on the channel in February. I don't really have many more opinions than that on it, I'm afraid. I'm kind of waiting to see more. The trailer didn't really give a lot away or anything like that. So I'm kind of just waiting to see more, see some more information. Yeah, I don't really have a reaction apart from super excited and intrigued to see more. <laughs> I don't know, I'm always a very cautious person. I'm always like, I'm excited, but not too excited until I know more. So yeah, I'm kind of just waiting for a more detailed trailer. Hopefully we get one before Christmas, that would be cool. Okay, so I might be like sniffling and stuff during this, so my apologies. <laughs> And also I just wanted to say thank you really really quickly to Malou and Mr. Magpie who let me know um, to put on widescreen that it makes the game look a bit better so I have done that now so hopefully it'll look really good in this video. Okay so we're getting a little flash of classic Lara here so let's get into the next level. Oh I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> they don't seem quite so keen on visitors these days. Well, hey, you're the one with the guns. You can't blame me for knowing how to accessorize. <laughs> Any word from Anaya? She said she'd meet you at the statue in the marketplace. At least we'll have our privacy. Okay, so let's just go into our mission summary to remind ourselves what we're doing. So Rutland implied a connection between the stone dais and the rune near Paraiso. I hope Anaya will meet me there despite it all. We may not find anything besides a dozen corpses. Amanda's among them, but I have to know for certain. So we're starting to slowly learn a little bit more about Amanda and this incident that seems to upset Lara so much that happened in Paraiso in Peru. So yeah, basically we just have to go and meet up with Anaya. And yeah, I guess everyone in the village is scared of Lara, which is hilarious. I mean, to be honest, now if someone just walked into my village packing like that with all those guns, I'd probably run inside my house and hide as well. Oh, and I think there's a little fun thing we can do here. How do I, how do I kick this? Oh, there we go. I think if we kick this through here, you get sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a funny little random thing. Um, and I think this is just a dummy to practice on. I don't think it has any significance. Maybe it's there to practice on if you skipped Croft Manor and didn't do that. So I think I can grapple here. Yeah. There we go. Um, oh, and I still haven't fixed my B button. Thank you so much to everyone who's been telling me suggestions of how I can, oh, I think I have to drag this, how I can fix that. I am working on it. I'm just really terrible at those kind of things. Like you guys know me by now. I love playing games, but anything like technological to do with games just goes over my head. The controller and the B button work completely fine with other games. So the B button isn't broken. It just doesn't work with Legend. And a couple of people have commented and said that they had the same problem with Legend. So Legend just doesn't seem to like the B button for some reason. <laughs> 
but it's fine. Like I said, using the controller and the keyboard is like an extra little challenge. Hello, Lara. You realize that the streets were not deserted a moment ago. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying so hard to blend in. I hope I'm the one that frightens them and not something else. There's nothing here. Just a heap of pottery shards, littered with the bodies of old friends. If I knew this was where it would lead, I would never have told you about Bolivia. Yet here you are. La Paz is not so far away. Neither is the past. Lara, go! I'll catch up! Okay, let's just pause it here because I just want to run through some info on Anaya because I was curious. I'd never looked into Anaya before. So Anaya Emanu is an engineer and a good friend of Lara Croft. Anaya works in impoverished areas of South America. Anaya and Lara attended university together and Anaya was with Lara during the tragedy that happened at Paraiso. And we will find out very soon what that tragedy was. And then, as we learned in the very first level of the game, Anaya was working in La Paz in Bolivia when she heard a rumor of a stone dais there. She informed Lara about it, knowing that Lara was looking for these stone daises. Dais? Daises? Eh, not sure. And so Lara and Anaya are catching up in the town square. Anaya seems very reluctant to revisit this place in Paraiso, but their conversation is interrupted when Rutland's men burst into the town. So Anaya goes ahead and Lara is going to take care of all these guys and catch up with her in a bit. Okay, let's go. Zip, get an eye on herself. You got it. Woo! Ooh. I really need to switch guns. How do I do that? Hang on. Give me a second. So just stop. Give me a second now. How do I switch guns? Nope, that's... Oh, there we go. Did I switch? Yeah, I did. Okay, great. Where'd they go? Whoa! Oh, I just saw, oh, I just saw a um, big truck go boom. I want to make, I want to make the big truck go boom. Hang on. There we go. Ah. <laughs> awesome. Jesus, calm down. Um, yeah, unfortunately there was no one really by the truck, but eh, oh well. Oh, I actually, I need to pick up another gun. No, no. in this, but I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, for goodness sake. You know, doors have handles, you there muppet. Yeah. Not so smart. Uh -huh. Might as well do that. Okay. So... What am I doing now? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that there is a reward around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's not it's not really hidden, is it? I don't think the rewards in legend are usually too difficult to find but it's okay we don't mind we don't mind an easy Tomb Raider game for a change as I said especially after AOD 
it's a-okay with me. <laughs> oh my god, that rhymed. After AOD, it's A-okay with me. <laughs> Guys, I have a bit of a fever, okay? It's not my fault. <laughs> right, and pretty sure there was one in here. Cool. Um, can that, oh, oh, it does open. I feel like I missed a reward though. I feel like I missed one. Oh, there we go. Found ya. <laughs> oh, and after I just said, all the rewards in Legend are so easy. <laughs> Sometimes I just need to shut up. <laughs> okay, let's go. Woo! Oh, that was a disaster. This white screen looks super nice. Thank you so much, Malou and Mr. Magpie. Oh, I see you. Hello? Take that. Ooh, and we got uh, some grenades. Awesome. I'm just switching around all the guns, am I? I don't think I'm actually picking up any more ammo. Oh well. Okay, this part is hard. There's a lot of guys here. Ooh! Ooh! That's strong. Ooh! Uh... Okay. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. I need a stronger gun. Ooh! Uh oh. Whoa. Hang on a second now. Oh! How do I throw grenades? Oh! How do I. No. How do I. Oh, there we go. Oh! Gonna blow myself up. Right. Um. Oh, they lost me. They're like, she's here somewhere. Whoa. Oh, I actually blew someone up. Good on me. There we go. <laughs> Don't blow myself up! <laughs> this is the danger of me using grenades. Using grenades while being a moron. Not recommended. Did you hear that? No. I didn't hear anything. The shotgun is so damn good though. Like so damn good. But I think this was good to swing over here though. Just take out. Ah! Get him! What the bloody hell? Take her out. Frag her. Uh oh. Open fire. Oh, flip. God, where am I going? What am I doing? Oh, jeez. Absolute disaster. I need another medipack. I need another medipack before I take on the machine gun. I know there was one up there, but how do I get back up there? Oh, there's a ladder here. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure... One of them dropped a medipack up here. Hang on. What gun is that? 
Oh, it's got nothing in it. That's the one I put down. Right, I guess we just have to do the same again, but just not like blow myself up with the <laughs> with the things. Oh, stop! <gasps> Don't be so rude. hell happened there? Some electrical wire or something. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot you with that machine gun. Just give me a second. I have to pick this up. Are they following me? Hello? You know what? It's probably just easier to do this. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna jump up here in case there's any more. Oh, there is! Haha! -ha. Any more? No, I don't think so. Right. Well, that was shocking, but you know what? We did it. It's fine. In fairness, we were extremely outnumbered. In my defense. Mm. Oh, sugar, I spilt my tea all over my keyboard. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I have so much brain fog today, I can honestly barely function. Okay, so now that we've taken out all of Rutland's men, now we're going to steal one of their motorbikes and try and catch up with Anaya. And yes, the motorbike bit is always quite difficult. <laughs> I'm not great at it, to be honest. Surprise, surprise. So uh, let's just see how we get on. <laughs> I think it'll be fun though. Anaya called on her cell. She's got mercenaries after her. Tell her I'm on my way. Right. Yay. Press forward to accelerate, okay. Back movement to break or reverse. Right. And I think if we're too slow, we like lose her. Oh, sugar! Watch what you're doing, Suzanne. Oh, I need that, I need that, I need that. Yes. It is such a thrilling, exciting bit, though. Whoa! I do love Zip in this part as well. He just adds so much fun to it. Damn! Take that. Okay. Cannot lose my focus. Cannot lose my focus. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, watch out for the rocks, watch out for the rocks. Big rock, big rock. Whoa! Flying motorcycles, flying motorcycles. Oh, 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 okay. It wasn't worth the risk going for those medipack things. Oh, I actually need to take life. Hang on. Woo! Woo! Whoa! It can be a pain in the butt, but it is super fun. I love the destruction. <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> okay. Four of them. Whoa! Woo! Oh, jeez, bro! Whoa, bro, 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 bro! Oh, bro! Oh, oh, little bro! Oh no! Well, that was shocking. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This bike keeps going out of control. Oh my god, I blew like two of them off. That was so cool. Or did I? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. so much okay i need to focus less on shooting them and more on avoiding these rocks because that's what keeps killing me oh sugar right i'm not i'm not even looking at you i'm looking at the rocks oh <laughs> looking at the rocks i'm looking at the rocks oh i need life i'm looking at the rocks Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Looking at the rocks. Yeah. Oh. Oh, sugar, sugar, sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. What are, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Ugh. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, we did it! Well, that wasn't that bad, actually. Sorry, that was really high pitch. That wasn't that bad. Casually just sits down after causing that absolute carnage. It hasn't changed much. What are a few years after all, when stacked atop thousands more? There's something I didn't tell you before. I think Amanda might not have died down there. Is that what this is about? Closure? Isn't that what it's all about? Why we dig up the past? To understand it? I am an engineer, Lara. I build for the future. I don't dwell in the past. You will someday. Eventually everyone does. Lara! Get down here, you slacker! Jason says we're about to break through! In a minute, Amanda! We have some structural concerns. Would you just get down here? So I love, love, love here how 
Crystal Dynamics gave us Lara in her classic outfit. Now this is obviously a flashback to a few years ago. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play through the entire flashback and then at the very end, just gonna really quickly summarize the story in case anyone's confused about anything. But yeah, I really, really like this. It feels like Crystal Dynamics, we're kind of having a tribute to classic Lara here, which is really, really nice. And I'm pretty sure we have, yeah, we've got flares, which is awesome. Love it. Okay. Can I to dive roll? Oh yeah, okay, so this is where I need to use the <laughs> the keyboard. Hang on a second now. There we go. I'll get used to it. Oh the planks over the sink hole broke, so you're gonna have to swing across. <laughs> okay. such a tourist <laughs> which way I don't think we can go this way oh I don't think we go this way yet let's check out the other way anyway oh God, I never noticed that body flying before. Did you guys see that? Like Amanda ran away screaming, but someone's body went flying and hit the floor. That's so cool, I've never seen that before. Okay, so yeah, uh, something really weird has happened here. It's caved in, so we'll have to go around the other way. And wow, look at these. So super cool, they're like mummies or something. I don't remember most of this. This is exciting. Oh, that's uh Now we go in here. Oh, Sarah. Oh, God. What's happened? Poor Sarah. So this is obviously one of their colleagues that they're doing this dig with. Lara just casually tying her shoe beside Sarah's corpse, but it's fine. It's fine. So yeah, something super weird is happening. Woo! Would you oh no! Don't put it over Sarah! Just stop. So disrespectful. in her classic outfit. So amazing. Oh, crap. My God. Lara, over here. Kent? What's going on? It killed Oscar. What did? I don't know, I don't know, I didn't see. Sorry about that, guys. My camera overheated. Escape won't budge. Get me out. It's all right. What? There's a hole above me. You've got to get me out. Hurry, we've got to get out of here. Okay. So this is another one of our colleagues, Kent. He's trapped, so we got to save him. Let's go. Right. Is that, oh, that's another dead person. Oh my God. Everyone's dead. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming, Kent. Would you give me a second? I'm almost there. Don't be so rude. I'm like saving you. Hey, I think I see a light. Stay there, Kent. I'm coming down. Yeah, don't move, Kent. We're almost there. Amanda? Amanda! Kent? It's her! Wait! No! Oh. Kent! Kent! Oh, the camera angle 
and this is so bad. Oh. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me! Whew. Okay. Oh! Oh my god, the box broke. Oh! They all broke! Get out! Oh! That was scarier than the thingy! What the hell? Okay, so where are we? Where'd it go? Oh! Well, it rolled right where I want it. just taken my sweet ass time as everyone else is getting brutally murdered. <laughs> Why not? Anything in here? No. Yeah, this is another pit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Amanda! I think this stone unlocks the door. I don't like it. Are you sure you're reading it properly? That thing is coming. You have a better idea? The door might be trapped. We're trapped! Oh, oh God! In fairness, what was Lara's plan there? Just get eaten? I would have pulled the stone too. honest I think this is a terrible idea everyone agreed to leave things as they were I will as much as I can but from what Rutland said I'm sure there's a clue down there about what killed my mother I have to go back there's no use trying to enter at the same point it's caved in the river had to get in there somehow I leave you to figure out the how I can't go down there I'm sorry it's fine, really. If there's any trouble, call Zip and he'll patch you through. Don't take any chances. I'm not losing any more of my friends. So, how are you getting in? The same way as the water, I hope. If you get a call from Anaya, patch her through straight away. I'm a little concerned about leaving her by herself. I'll keep her company. 
Okay, so let's just really quickly go through that flashback and what happened all those years ago in Paraiso. Amanda Everett was Lara Croft's best friend. Amanda and Lara went to Peru on an expedition with their university colleagues. Anaya was there as well, but presumably Anaya stayed up here because as she said, she's the engineer. So I presume she was working on stuff above ground and that's how she managed to survive. The group are exploring an underground cave system. However, their exploration is interrupted when a mysterious unknown entity begins killing everyone. After seeing several of their colleagues and friends die, Lara and Amanda come to a dead end in a large room. Amanda finds a strange stone in the wall and believing it might unlock the door, she pries it loose. The entity then disappears and the door unlocks. Unfortunately, a cave-in also begins. During their escape attempt, Amanda's foot becomes trapped under falling rocks. Lara tries her best to save her, but in the end has no choice but to leave her behind when it appears that Amanda was crushed by falling rocks. So that's what happened all those years ago. So now Lara is here to find out once and for all what happened to Amanda and also to find out what the connection is between this and what happened to her mother. And her friend Anaya is, I mean, she seems understandably traumatized by this. She thinks nothing good can come from digging around in the past. So she's just gonna wait by the car. Okay, so. I know that there are a few rewards around here. Can't remember if there's one or two. So let's just have a look, I guess. Oh, there's two. That answers that question. So yeah, where we went in before is um, caved in. I think this is it. It's caved in and closed over. That looks like this sign is covered in blood, but I'd say it's rust or something. So we have to find another way in and Lara says, well, the river got in, so that's probably a good bet. So yay, water, my favorite. Although, do you know what? Oh, I need I need to hold this to dive. Oh, this is actually going to be really difficult. <laughs> Trying to use um, the controller and the keyboard for this as well. But yeah, um, I'm not so afraid with Legend because there's nothing in the water in Legend, which is also why it's one of my favorite games. Nothing in the water to eat us. Okay. Uh, it's so hard to maneuver. What? Oh, we we'll just stop. Oh god, I'm running out of air. 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 Oh, holy crap. <laughs> Woo! That was close. That was so flipping close. Okay. just obviously draining the water so we can actually um, do stuff down here to see water going away. <laughs> is that what I think it is? It's called an anachronism. It was Amanda's. 
Had to have some fall off your feet that easy. It's been unlaced. I never imagined she could have survived. There was a lot of water. She still might not have. Oh, look at the water dripping off her. That's so cool. I've never noticed that effect before. That's awesome. And she looks wet. Look her legs. They look shiny and wet. That's really, really cool. So, yeah, we're in the room now where the cave-in happened, obviously, because we found Amanda's shoe. So, yeah, her shoe was unlaced and left behind. So she obviously managed to free herself, at least. But as Alistair said, I mean, she still could have drowned anyway. So again, as we go through here, we're going to be getting little snippets of information and stuff. I'm going to wait until the very end to just summarize everything in one bit. Okay, so let's put on our light and let's go. It tells the story of the last queen of Tiwanaku. Her father was a king, but she was lost and raised by a warrior. She became queen after a shaman named Tunupa discovered her royal heritage. Tunupa is another name for Viracocha, their god of creation. The shaman brought her to Lake Titicaca, where she borrowed his staff, an object of great power. According to myth, Viracocha originally lived in the lake. The god of indoor plumbing. <laughs> she led her people into an era of peace. After many years of wise and just rule, there was some sort of power struggle. She died shortly thereafter, and she was carried off in a boat to paradise. Remind you of something? The King Arthur myth. Yes, the similarities are striking. King Arthur? A little help here? It's the same story. A youth, unaware of his royal blood, rises from obscurity to become a wise king with the help of a friendly wizard and his magical staff or sword. And afterwards, he's transported to paradise. Many cultures share similar legends. The Great Flood, for example. Everyone's got that one too. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry for my giggling... Um, I don't mean to be offensive, but the name Titicaca just made me laugh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really don't mean to laugh at these things. I'm just super immature, as I'm sure you all know by now. <laughs> right. So how am I getting up here? Is there a... Oh, there's a... Yeah, there's a grapple. Great. Ooh! What's happening? Why is it shaking? in oh for goodness sake Joke, what direction is that supposed to be? <sighs> there we go. Thank you. third time wow, this place is amazing might be a good place to use the rad mode of your binoculars you could be right 
Eh, I don't need to. I, I think I remember it. Famous last words though. Every time I say I know something, I mess it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I know it impresses me. To be fair, I think no matter what century you live in, that's really cool and impressive. Where's the... Oh, the ball's up there. See? I always jinx myself. I know what to do. I've played this game so many times. <laughs> and then I just mess it up. Oh, sugar. Yeah. Sorry, I need to stop for a tea break now. Um, my throat is absolutely killing me. I feel like crap, but I'm determined to finish this level. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, God. Cold tea, no thank you. We will, woo, we will uh, just suffer on. Okay. now or did I put it on the wrong one again probably oh there oh do you know I didn't even need to switch that one, oh, I like that one. it was nice but it was in the way <laughs> I like how they make a joke of Lara just breaking you know really ancient valuable stuff in this it's nice they acknowledge it Shaman, a dais with a sword set into it, or in this case, Viticocha's staff. This is it. Do you believe it's the same one we saw in Tuanaku? There's more than just one dais, but possibly. So the shaman would be Merlin, and the staff would be whatever the hell King Arthur's sword was called. It's called coincidence. <laughs> Funny name for a sword. <laughs> oh. I just love them so much. Oh, whoa, what happened? Was that supposed to happen? And jump like that? I don't know. Oh, it's Look fine. at her. She's beautiful. We were so close before. So close. Wonderful, Lara. Do you notice anything familiar about her sword? That's what Rutland was holding. Except this is just a ceremonial copy. And what do we have here? has broken off. My god. I had no idea it looked like this. I've seen this before, at Waseda University in Japan. But I didn't know it had anything to do with these artifacts. Yeah, I'll get a hold of them right now. It's not there anymore. It was stolen by Shogo Takamoto. Takamoto? Yakuza has nothing to mess with Lara. I don't care, Zip. I want that piece. Arrange a meeting. Okay, but hang on. I got Anaya calling on her cell. I'm patching her through. Lara! Lara, can you hear me? Those bastards from town are here, and they're coming down after you. Well, this is a tomb. I'll make them feel at home. She's so badass. She's so badass in this. Sorry, I wasn't keeping track of Anaya. I got distracted. 
She seems safe for now. It's all right. Just let me know if our mercenary friends get any closer to her. Got it. How will you make it back with the floor missing? I suppose I'll have to take the high road back. Hint, hint. I love how badass Lara is in this game. And I love Lara's face in this game. It is so stunningly beautiful. When they do like close-ups of her face in cutscenes, her face is just like, it's a per perfect face. Anyway, I'll stop going on about it. So just to very quickly summarize all of that, because I actually never fully understood this part before, so it was really cool for me to actually get it all straight in my head. Lara uncovers the legend of the Queen of Tiwanaku, and Tiwanaku is where we were in Bolivia. So the legend of the Queen of Tiwanaku is very similar to the legend of King Arthur and the Sword in the Stone. And Alistair kind of says that every civilization had their own versions of the same legends. So Lara manages to find the tomb of the Queen of Tuanaku that she and Amanda were searching for all those years ago. In it, Lara finds a replica sword similar to the one that Rutland described and where he held up a piece of it in the previous level. Lara theorizes that the real sword is in fact Excalibur of the Arthurian legends and that Amanda survived all those years ago and is working with Rutland to find all of the sword fragments. To Lara's surprise, she realizes that she's seen the tip part of the real sword before. So the tip of the replica sword has broken off and when she picks it up and looks at it, she realizes I've seen this exact piece, the real exact piece before in Waseda University in Japan. Lara then reveals that this part of the sword was stolen by Yakuza boss Shogo Takamoto. And the Yakuza is basically, I think, like the Japanese version of the Mafia. So this guy is super dangerous. <laughs> but of course, Lara doesn't care. Nothing's gonna get in her way. So she has Zip organize a meeting with them. And now, of course, Rutland's men have arrived here and Anaya is hiding from them outside. So we have to kill all the men, go outside and save Anaya. But first we need to get our gold, um, our gold reward. So let's do that first. But yeah, I think where I got confused before with this was I never understood that that was a replica sword in her tomb. And then I didn't understand how she came to the realization that Takamoto had a part in Japan. I think I just didn't like understand that M. Or maybe I just didn't hear the word replica for some reason. I don't know. I got a bit confused at that part, so it's nice to just get that clear in my head. This is a this is a sneaky little gold gold reward actually. I did not find this one on my own. Down you go. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's okay. And then we just put this on the middle one. This is super sneaky. Let me know if you figured this out by yourself because that is really impressive. <laughs> So I think we should have all the rewards now. Yes, we have them all. Great. So now let's just get out of here. No. 
Oh, <gasps> good save, Lara. Thank you. That was um, that was a close one. Those two fellas standing there. I don't see you. Think you go down there? Maybe we got luck. I haven't had any luck today. How's the knee? How's my ass? I wasn't <laughs> the one who tripped, and I wasn't the one who couldn't hold on to the damn rope. It was wet. <laughs> I don't know how the hell she got down here without a rope over all those slippery rocks and... Oh, that's it? Their conversation's over? Okay. Aw, poor them. They're like, maybe she's not here. Maybe she fell down. Sorry to break it to you, boys. Awesome. Oh, I had like no medipacks left. Definitely need a few more. I'm getting nothing from either of There's quite a few of them out there, so I don't want to just run out. Or is that it? Oh, there wasn't that many, actually. It's fine. Not too bad at all. Although, yeah, I don't know how Lara honestly was planning on getting out of here by herself. Because the only reason we can get out of here is because Rutland's men hung these ropes. So, yeah, I'm not sure what her plan was there, but I'm sure she would have figured some crazy way. What's that? Oh, I think it's a bar from there. It looked like a big sword or something. I was like, what the hell? Uh, where do I go? Oh, here. Do you have a medipack? No, you don't. Okay. Ha! <laughs> so cool. seen a panther, I think. It's hard to tell. Jaguar. They don't have a panther. <laughs> Jaguar, then. Whatever. <laughs> well, I saw a damn spider big as your hand, too. Tarantula. <laughs> you grew up in a carport box or something? <laughs> oh, excuse me for not knowing all those scientific names, all right? They're not scientific. They're normal. Just Sorry, I love listening to their conversations. I think it's so funny. There she is! Well, you had to go and ruin my eavesdropping, didn't you? Woo! Oh, did I see a medipack? I did. Would you aim? 
There we go. Got it eventually. <laughs> I hope you found what you were looking for because I am never coming here again. I was right. This is all she left behind. She got out and didn't tell us? Why has she been hiding all these years? Maybe not hiding, exactly. Just not keeping in touch with old friends. Perhaps she found or learned something down there that she wanted to keep to herself. Zip, did you speak to Takamoto? Eventually. You didn't want to see her, so I reminded him how much you hate the word no. <laughs> I'm a horrible conversationalist. I trust he wants to get together on neutral ground. You'll love this. He wants to meet at Toto Nishimura's offices across the street from his penthouse. Nishimura? Takamoto doesn't know we're friends. Nope. All he knows is Nishimura's hosting a corporate party tomorrow night, and you'll meet him there. Better and better. All right, then. I'm heading there straight away. I'll need to find something to wear, though. <laughs> okay, we've unlocked secret items again. Cool. You've unlocked a new outfit. Okay, so what I'll do um, in the last video is we'll go back to Croft Manor and try on all of the outfits that we've collected throughout the game. Okay, yes, so we got all the rewards. Great. Now it's time for Lara's famous, infamous, you decide, black dress. Some people love it, some people think it's way too sexy and doesn't suit the character of Lara Croft. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And there we go, we can see the dress in all its glory. It's getting hot in here. Anyway, let me know if you like it or not. I'm interested to hear people's opinions on this controversial dress and I will give my opinion on it in the next level. So yeah, just to quickly summarize, we obviously saved Anaya and Zip managed to set up a meeting with Tokamoto. So Tokamoto has asked Lara to meet him at a corporate party that is being hosted by a man called Toro Nishimura. However, Tokamoto doesn't know that Lara and Nishimura are old friends. I'm so, so excited to play the next level. Thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry that I was a bit all over the place and maybe not my usual self from being sick but I'm hoping that I can feel a bit better soon and move straight on to the Japan level. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate if you would consider liking, commenting, or subscribing if you haven't already. It really does mean a lot to me and I will see you really, really soon in the next video.